Danny, first of all, welcome back. Um, can I just say, as a Northern Ireland supporter myself, we are all so proud of you, so proud of the girls. A massive performance on Saturday, but overall you always do the country so proud, so thank you for that. Thank um, you. On reflection of the game then, what's the mood in the camp, both physically, mentally, and are there any injury concerns at all? Yeah, well, the, uh, our main thoughts are about the game we've just played against England is that we can do better and we need more composure, we need to be more relaxed. Uh, I think we'll get that tonight in this stadium and that will help us enormously. It will help the players to be more composed and stay in the ball and try and move the opposition as much as we can. And, and that's what we're looking for, for for this game against a very, very good Austria team. As you mentioned there, Austria are going to be tough opponents, but there's lots of positives to take. From Saturday, you held England who are eighth in the world till the 64th minute. I believe the girls give everything 100%. Yep. So are those all the positive things that then you, you take into the game? Definitely. We've got to move from working hard to working smart. We worked hard on Saturday. We, the team that was set up, we got it right. We knew the 11 that was starting. Well, we thought we knew, and as it transpired, we did. That 11, for 64 minutes, we were 0-0. Zero, zero. And there was no impact made from that 11. And they brought on the, from their bench, which is very, very strong. And they scored four goals from the bench within 15, 14 minutes. And it was difficult for our, our players because they'd given so much and now these fresh legs are on and quality players and they were on their knees. Do you know what I mean? It was, they'd, they'd worked themselves to a standstill and, and I commend them for that. And do you know what? We can uh, send that message out to the supporters that the girls worked for their country as hard and as positive as they could we weren't at our most best in terms of the quality, but I feel that they couldn't give any more. And I felt for them. Did that just tell in the end there? Obviously, England players are all full-time professionals and the fitness levels just come into play then? Yeah, that's the two key factors to that. And the fact that they changed, they were panicking. At halftime, they changed their whole, uh, they changed their system of play and it helped us because we were ready for something like that to happen. It helped us, and for that 15 minutes, we didn't dominate the match in that period, but we showed more glimpses of what we can do just for that 15 minute period. And uh, 19 minutes actually, 64 they scored, but I felt we were giving it a lot of more composure, more readiness to get into the other half of the pitch. Who knows what might have happened, but they were too strong for us when we were at our weakest. So back at Seaview again, it's a sold out match. Um, how important is that going to be for the girls to have the Green and White Army in full voice again? That is the utmost important thing about tonight. No matter what team we put out of our squad, that will inspire them so much. These girls really need that. The inspiration they'll get from seeing their fellow country people coming to support them it always gives you a lift, always.